Sure Valley family is grateful this holiday for the gift of life. And they say they can't take a single day for granted. Lauren Johnson is live in studio with this miraculous yeah. story, Lauren. Roland and Michelle, Steve Sataki says that this season he is grateful for everything because he says someone gave him the greatest gift he could ever receive. Steve and Monica Sataki don't have the typical love story. I had to push him in a wheelchair. She took very good care of me. Steve was born with a heart defect. They told my folks that I might have, you know, live to be four or five. He proved the doctors wrong long enough to meet Monica, but then his heart started to give. Two to three months to live. Yep. At, after that, I would have been dead. The couple didn't know how long they'd have, and they knew they'd never be able to have children together. It didn't matter. It was how much time you have here. I'll just spend it with you. Their only hope was a heart donor. I cried all the way home because I thought it was going to be the last time I saw him. And then two days later, we got the phone call. The miracle they'd been waiting for. I said, well, they have a heart for us. And I didn't even really know how to say it. I don't really know how I could put into words the gratitude. Donors and their families are heroes because they make the sacrifice at the worst time of their life, <clears throat> in the most sad time of their life, they choose to not be selfish and give the gift of life to someone else. It wasn't the only miracle. After receiving a new lease on life, the couple who thought they couldn't have kids found out they were expecting. We went to the ultrasound at 20 weeks and the nurse said, uh, well, there's one and there's two. And I gave my wife a shocked look and said, twins? Chloe and Araya are now three years old. I love you. Yeah. Araya's middle name, is miracle. Look at Daddy. And every day, Steve's new heart is full. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that my donor saved my life and then brought two little girls into the world through our marriage. To be a good steward of the heart is the only way that I could really say thank you to a donor and my donor family and God. Steve received his transplant at the Sacred Heart Medical Center in Spokane. Monica and Steve now both speak for Donate Life and the Pacific Northwest Transplant Bank in Boise, sharing their story. For more info, you can head to yesidaho.org. We'll have links to the website as well as other info on our website, idahoonyourside.com. Roland, Michelle. It's just incredible how it all worked out. Certainly it is incredible. believe in miracles. It really does. An amazing family. Uh, oh, thanks, so Lauren. neat. Thanks, Lauren.